Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ray, that's Koji, and today let's go look at the crazy secondary market of the One Piece card game. But before we look at the crazy single prices at the secondary One Piece or secondary market in the One Piece card game, let me tell you guys about this video's giveaway. So, Today, I will be giving away one sealed dash pack to one winner. And all you have to do is make sure to hit like and um, subscribe and leave a comment down below. I will post the winner this Saturday. So make sure that you stay subscribed so that you get to actually see if you won. All right, now without further ado, yeah, let's go see the wild, wild west of the One Piece secondary market. Alright guys, it's time for another episode of Market Watch and for this week, we or I guess this month, we're gonna look at the crazy, I guess, market shifts that's been happening the last month or so, punctuated by the crazy OP01 seal product hikes, as well as the results of the recent bannings and restrictions as always with all market watch i always want to start the episode by looking at the sealed products and today we're going to be looking at first the op01 op02 op03 and op04 prices and see how it changed since the last episode so first let's go quickly look at op01 and yeah Last episode, it was just over 200 US dollars, and now it's nearly double. It's at 377 US dollars. And if you think that this price is high, I have seen through Facebook Marketplace that first wave or blue bottom OP01 sealed boxes are going upwards to like 900 us dollars just because it some people have view it as like the first wave or the pre errated card so they are placing premium uh, prices on it and the main reason why op01 prices are spiking so much in just one month is that there has been the scuttlebutt from the secondary market that bandai has stopped printing op01 there will no more uh, there will or there won't be any more reprints coming i could not uh, there hasn't been an official word but that has been something that has been i guess um pass around uh, in the grapevine so we will see if that is the case um you know from what I've heard in past Bandai games is that Bandai will continuously print sets in uh, as long as it is still in demand and for sure OP01 is always going to be in demand um, at least in the very near future so we will see maybe this is going to be the new start and uh, OP01 prices will just keep on going and if the prices of blue bottom op zero ones are gonna be over a thousand us dollars well i had 30 of those and uh yeah maybe i should have just held on to that instead of making a youtube channel um you know but hey i used to say before i'm a collector i'm not an investor so opening those cases up for or with you guys were definitely worth it all right, next, let's go at look at OP02. It's not as drastic as OP01, but there has been an increase as well. Uh, last month, it started at 124, nearly 125, and it went up nearly 70 US dollars to about 193. Right now, a lot of it is probably going to be pushed by the recent um, uh, bannings and restrictions. As more people need more of the, I guess, Navy cards, maybe people are moving more to uh, Rob Lucci. Uh, maybe that's a, a reason why uh, some prices uh, or the sealed prices, sealed boxes are getting higher. But regardless, 
yeah op02 uh we have seen a, a pretty good increase as well 70 us dollars in just last month so it'll be interesting to see if people think that op02 will be out of print if the prices of op02 will be sky high as well just because the first two sets in the one piece card game has been um severely underprinted in comparison to the demand so that's why the prices has been pretty high compared to op03 and op04 and uh, yeah next let's go look at op03 uh you see like last month it started at 93 us dollars and now it is all the way up to 114 a lot of it is just because of the recent bannings and restrictions and the rise of yellow as a color of choice for a lot of people going into and because of that category is getting way more popular so yeah i'm not surprised that op03's price went up quite a bit in the last month finally we have op04 and as you can see the last month it has been a yo-yo it went all the way down to actually 79 us dollars but it seems like it picked up uh, quite recently it went all the way up to 88 right now and that's what it's been selling so we it'll be interesting to see and monitor um you know what's the staying power of op04 because it has definitely been the cheapest set so far and we'll see if it even is going to increase at all all right next let's look at or the way that i'm gonna do it is that i'm going to quickly look at op01 op02 and op03 single prices going from leader alt art to character alt art to secret rares as well as some other cards towards the end to see how the crazy month has affected the prices starting with op01 we have the most expensive leader out there with the law uh, i'm actually surprised the law is still holding high you know red has been hit quite recently with the bands but it looks like the market has stabilized with law it actually went up the last month it started at 187 and it went all the way up to 271 so a hundred dollar increase and even with all of the restrictions and bannings law is holding steady just because even though the Don and Nami has um, been restricted or banned, actually both are banned, um, it is still quite strong. The ability is still really, really good. And you see now that there has been an increase in a Wano-centric uh, law list that might be pretty good. I haven't really tested it out yet, but that's something that I have seen being played. So yeah, I'm not surprised that Law is still holding strong. Next, we have the other or the second most popular leader or most expensive leader in OP01. We have Zoro. Um, as you can see in the last month, uh, Zoro started at 160. It's all the way up to 215 or 216. Well, at an increase of 50 us dollars in just one month same thing with law i'm very surprised that the price held pretty strong even with the uh, restrictions and bannings but i just think that zoro as a leader is still quite strong putting one down and getting all of your characters plus thousand power is still strong but you know maybe zoro will just need to turn a little bit more into a white beard centric deck and be a little bit more of a main uh, mid-range deck rather than an aggro one uh so yeah um so yeah i'm pretty surprised that zoro is still pretty high up uh which is good you know that means that maybe there's gonna be a zoro tech there in the future that i can use because you know i've been maining zoro since op01 and uh, i was worried that i might have to give him up next and definitely a surprise for me is a luffy uh leader that's the third most expensive leader in op01 uh you can see it started out 66 <laughs> it went all the way up to 135 double the price i'm not sure it's definitely not playability just because i haven't really seen any green 
and red Luffy being played. However, it might just be the result of OP01 being out of print, and that's why you see Luffy getting higher. Next, we see Doflamingo. Uh, Doflamingo started at 95, it went all the way up to 90, 125, increase of just over $30, which is pretty good. Same thing, it might just be being out of print as well as, you know, maybe um, the, I guess, fall of red red as a color in OP04.5 as well as beyond. Maybe we will see way more blue Doflamingo being played. Uh, same thing with uh, blue and purple Kaido. Uh, it was all the way starting at $80 and then it ends at just over $94 and an increase of $14. Next we have blue and purple Croc. Started at $68 and then all the way and, uh, ended nearly $90. Uh, an increase of uh, $12. $12. Next we have Kinemon, same thing, there's an increase, started out at $35 and ended at just over $63, that's a pretty nice increase. And then finally we will have King, uh, King started out at just over $30 and right now it nearly doubled and it ends at $58. US So as you can see, across the board, the last month or so, the leader prices has increased, sometimes nearly double the price earlier in the month. It'll be interesting to track the progress or increase of the cards or of the singles in the future. Uh, just because, you know, is the reprint of OP01 true? Or is there more stocks coming and how will that affect the secondary single prices? Alright, so that has been the leaders. Now let's quickly look at the singles. Starting with the most expensive card in the set with the Manga Shanks. As you can see, it started out at 686 US dollars and it ended up at nearly $200 increase at 820 US dollars. Same thing, I think the increase in price is due to the notion that OP01 will be out of print. So people are grabbing OP01 cards as much as they can. Next, the most expensive character alt art in OP01 is Nami and as you can see her price has definitely changed quite a bit since the last month as you can see it slowly slowly climbed all the way up to the peak of 192 US dollars but with the restrictions and the bannings it has sharply fallen the last week or so and it went all the way down to 164 so it'll be interesting to see if Nami's price keep going down or if it's going to stabilize and go a little bit higher as OP01 gets out of print. Next we have Zoro, another red staple. Um, different from Nami because Zoro wasn't banned. As you can see, prices went all the way up. It was all the way uh, down at 84 US dollars and then it went all the way up to 103 right now in just one month. Uh, same thing. Um, the increase is due to the perceived uh, lack of reprint of OP01. So it looks like it's holding steady at 103. And uh, you will see across the board a lot of the character alt arts will have the exact same, I guess, pattern of increase the last month or so. Here we have Yamato. Yamato started at 69 and it ended up at 95. So nearly 30 US dollars increase in just one month. You can see it was flat and then just a huge spike. Next we have Mihawk. Mihawk was all the way down to 76 and then went all the way up to 83. So a little increase there. Next we have Law. Law was all the way down to 55 and then went all the way up to 78 nearly or over 20 US dollars in increase. 
Next, we have Boa. Ooh, Boa's actually really interesting because Boa might be the only card that decreased in price the last month or so as she started out at 79 US dollars and it went a little bit down to $74.64. Not a major drop off, but it's interesting to see anyway that it still went down in price even with the rumor of OP01, um, I guess, non-reprint coming. I would have thought that sh her price would have increased, but as you can see, it went down a little bit last month. So it'll be interesting to see, will it go up or will it keep going down? Next, we have Don Flamingo. Uh, nice little increase. Started out 33, all the way up to 62. Nearly double the price in just one or no, that was three months. Oh, there you go. There's a one month um, price, and the same thing as Boa. It went all the way up to 64, but it went all the way down again, and it ends up at 63 US dollars. So it looks like there wasn't that much increase since the start, uh, since one month ago. There was a hike and then went all the way down. So yeah, it looks like Don Flamingo, same thing as Boa. It's pretty even or even going down in the last month or so. Next we have Sanji. Sanji went all the way down. Such an interesting curve. Went all the way down, started at 49.71. Went all the way down to 47 and then went up again to just over 50 US dollars. Next, we have Luffy. Luffy went an increase again, started at 21 and ended up at just over 39, nearly double the price in just one month. And then finally, we have Shanks. Shanks started out at 18.43 and ended at $29.92, over $10 of increase in just one month. Oh, we have a few more. Uh, let's go look at Kaido. Kaido started down at 22. As you can see, slowly increased. And Kaido's all the way up to $29.92. K or Kid as well. Started out at 18. All the way up to 29. And yeah. So that has been the OP01 singles. As you can see pretty much close to across the board they went all the way up uh, some nearly double but it's interesting to see some of the blue cards such as boa as well as i guess who was that boa and don flamingo that seems to either go down or basically have the exact same price after one month uh so yeah that's definitely interesting Next, let's quickly look at the secret rares. Uh, first, we have Yamato. Yamato was all the way at $24.85 and increased to all the way up to $37.98. Uh, a nice little $10 increase, if I can do math. Uh, $10 plus. And then we have Shanks. Shanks starts at that $8.92 and all the way up to $16.57 nearly double the price in just one month it's pretty cool and then finally let's quickly look at some of the srs in the set uh some of them you know if you have not looked at a lot of the op01 prices you'd be surprised on the prices on some of these srs starting with the new most expensive sr in the set the dracula mihawk nine cost blue card it actually started at just under $20 as you can see it went up and it's it actually went all the way up over $30 but settled at just over $25.68 I still remember when I sold my Mihawks I was selling them for like five Canadian dollars as you can see the prices definitely shot up since OP01 next we have Law uh, Law is actually really interesting. It, it looks like it's trending down, but it's kind of like peaks and valley going down. It started out at $21.52, and then it looks like slowly going down to just over $19. 
Next, we have Zoro. Zoro hitting or being part of the red color that just got nerfed recently. As you can see, he was already trending down, but the last two weeks or so, his price just plummeted. It started out at 15 US dollars and it's down all the way to $9.27. I wonder if the, I guess, the reprint with the ST10 deck contributed to the fall of Zoro prices as, you know, in accordance or in sync with the bannings of red cards as well so maybe it's a you know combination of both why Zoro's all the way down to nine dollars all right finally let's go quickly look at some of the hidden value cards in op01 well not necessarily hidden but some cards that you might not know Ashley has quite a lot of values so if you have some laying around i'd recommend you to just check out your collection your bulk collection just because you might have even just one of these lying around because yeah some of these cards have pretty good values recently starting out with punk gibson punk gibson you know is all the way up to over five dollars right now wow that's that's amazing and it definitely jumped up the last i guess week or so week and a half or so uh yeah it's over five dollars right now so check out your collections if you have extra punk gibsons because the prices of punk gibson is just crazy next we have otama always gonna be the staple in red x as you can see, it's slowly trending up, but with the bannings, it definitely went down a little bit the last week or so. But still, really, really good value at over $5. Um, Otama is still so expensive. Uh, you know, Law is still playable, and you still need four Otamas for that deck. And then another one uh, to note of is Don Flamingo Blocker. Uh, Don Flamingo Blocker is over four dollars right now each, and uh, yeah, gonna be a staple for blue decks out there. And check out your collections, as I said, because you might have hidden treasures inside. Finally, we have uh, X Drake. Uh, X Drake's actually had a pretty low price, but as you can see, there has been a huge spike recently. A lot of it might be due to the bannings of red cards. It went all the way up to $4, but still pretty good price at $3.21, which is double the price that it was last month. So, you know, now it's going to be a great time to sell with the popularity of purple cards or purple decks at OP04.5 and OP05. So that has been OP01 cards now let's look at op02 singles all right so we have looked at op01 and yeah it's a long video so i'm gonna quickly look at op02 and op03 singles i'm not gonna look at every single card but i'm just gonna give you guys a quick snapshot of how of the top end of the set is doing starting with the leaders uh, with uh, the white beard leader as you can see the last month or so it held steady at 85 us dollars and it cratered just because of the bannings and it went all the way down to 78 50 i'm not surprised if it's gonna keeps going down just because they literally just banned the card, so it's not even going to be playable unless they reverse it. Um, however, you know, Whitebeard is still going to be uh, popular and it's still going to be collectible. So maybe the price will stabilize later on. So it'll be curious to see if it keeps going down or stabilize. Next, we have Magellan. So as you can see, Magellan has seen an increase in price from 36 all the way up to 67 uh, nearly double the price 
as you can see there has been a trend in moving more to other colors aside from red and purple is definitely one of the options a lot of people are going to especially magellan next we have smoker smoker actually went all the way down uh, started out at 65 went all the way down to 56 and then slowly went up um, to pretty much close to the original price last month at 66 um, so yeah smoker is not really didn't really become more playable or less playable because of the banning I guess more playable because of the bannings but I think a lot of more people prefers to play Rob Lucci or uh, I guess Rebecca rather than Smoker and then next we have Sanji Sanji started out at 41 and ended up at 46 uh, so yeah the be nice little increase some of it might be due to the bannings but I think a lot of it might just be to the collectible of the leader. Sanji is always going to be popular. Uh, definitely, it's not based on playability. Just I don't really see that many people playing Sanji. Maybe in the future, but definitely not really right now. Next, we have Z or Zephyr. Uh, so you can see same thing. It increased in price. Started out 26, all the way up to 34 right now. Nice little increase in a month. Uh, so yeah, so that's the leaders that um, I guess those are the most expensive leaders in OP02. As you can see, generally it's been trending up. Aside from Whitebeard, who which just got nuked and banned. Next, let's go look at the singles and see what the trends are. First, let's go start obviously with the most expensive character, or I guess just card in the entire set with the Manga Ace. As you can see, it has seen a spike in price, started out at 557 and it went all the way up to 630 nearly a $100 hike in just one month, especially the last, what is it, two weeks or so, or a week and a half ago. Um, might be due to similarly with OP01, um, people thinking that OP02 might be not reprinted anymore. Maybe that's spurning the price hikes in the last two weeks or so. Regardless, uh, you know, Ace, uh, Manga Ace has definitely increased in price, which is pretty cool to see, even though I don't have one. Next, let's see the most expensive card, I guess, character alt art in the set with the regular Ace alt art. Uh, as you can see, it started out at 35 and it went all the way up to 61 uh, US dollars. A lot of it is just because of the playability with Whitebeard. However, with the bands, we will see if Ace will hold the price or if it will go down eventually. Next, we have the first of the three admirals with the Kuzan Alt Art. Started out at 27 last month. And then it went all the way up to 60 US dollars now, nearly one, or I guess twice the price in just one month. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool to see. Next, we have Borsalino. Uh, same thing as Kuzan. Borsalino started out 29, all the way up to 56. Same thing. Uh, it's about like nearly twice the price increase in just one month. Uh, as more people, I guess, move away from red, maybe that's a spurning of the increase of price, or maybe it's a speculation that OP02 will not be printed, that people are picking up Borsalino more, or maybe it's a Sakazuki leader in uh, OP06, no, 5, uh, OP05 that people are preparing for because yeah that Sakazuki, Sakazuki leader in OP05 is a juggernaut in the Asian region and finally let's go look at the Kuzan alt art as you can see same thing the price has increased started out at 49 all the way up to 57 so nice little increase there and then finally, let's go look at Magellan. As I said before, a lot of people are moving to alternate decks to red. And some people are choosing Magellan and purple as a whole. 
Uh, so you can see it started at $15.71 and it went all the way up to $40 right now and, in, and only increasing. That's more than double the price in just one month. So yeah, that'd be interesting to see a month from now how high Magellan can go. Next, we have Buggy. Same thing, increase in price. Started out at $16.73, all the way up to $28.36. Uh, yeah, over $11 in increase. Nice to see. All right, so that has been the character alt arts. Well, some of the character alt arts is OP02. Let's next, let's quickly look at how the secret rares are going in OP02 and if the prices are increasing. Same thing with all the other cards. First, we have Kuzan. Kuzan started the month at $31.16. And it looks like it slowly increased with a height of $45.43. And then slowly leveled up to just over $40. US dollars. So nice little about $11 or $10. $10 or $11 increase in one month. Next, we have Uta. Uta seems like it looks like Wano with uh, two little mountains in between a valley. Uh, so yeah, Uta starts at $6.15 and then it was pretty down and then slowly increased again to just over $7.54. So it'd be interesting to see if Uta becomes a lot more prominent with the... I guess the purple Luffy deck in OP05. Maybe there's going to be a tech of Uta in the future. Maybe Uta becomes more viable. So we'll see. All right. Finally, let's go quickly end this by looking at some of the SRs in OP02 and what the prices look like. Um, no, no surprise. The Admiral prices are slowly going up. Uh, we have first Borsalino, which is the most expensive SR. Started out at $15 and all the way up to $21.68 in just one month. Pretty nice hike. I remember I sold this for $15 Canadian dollars and now it's definitely double the price or close to double the price of that now. Next we have Kuzan. Kuzan started at $8.23 and it went all the way up to $20.37. Holy crap. That's more than double the price increase in just one month it's quite ridiculous next we have nami yeah so nami had an increase as well uh, nami started at 11 dollars he went to a peak of 25 dollars and 10 cents and it looks like it has settled at just over 18 dollars and 55 cents still nice a little seven dollar increase in just one month Next, we have Magellan. Magellan started out $7.41 and ended it out $13.42. Nearly double the price. Cool. And so, yeah, so that has been the uh, OP02 in a nutshell. You can see, as you can see, aside from Whitebeard, uh, pretty much all of the cards in OP02 increased in the price uh, the last month or so. I'm not sure if it's the speculation. Um, similar to OP01 that OP02 might be getting out of print and that's why the mask buying of some of the singles but regardless you know it'll be interesting to see and track the trend if the prices continue to increase uh, the next month or so or slowly taper off as hopefully we get more OP02 products in circulation. All right, let's go end this Market Watch episode by looking at OP03 prices, starting with the leaders. And the most expensive leader out there is the Katakuri Alt Art Leader. And one thing that you will see in a lot of OP03 cards is the spike right here that you will see. And that corresponds really, really well with the recent red bannings and restrictions. As you can see, category stonks are up. It actually went all the way down to 117 and then went all the way up to 136. And yeah, I think that a lot of players, including myself, is moving to yellow with 
the banning of white beard and the red bannings and restrictions you can see the shift in yellow and yeah you will see this trend with a lot of op03 cards so yeah so that's katakuri it went up definitely uh, quite a bit in the last week or so or week and a half next we have nami so nami is not as stark or as steep of an increase compared to Katakuri, but it has slowly went up, uh, started out at 85, went all the way to 109. So over 20, about $25 increase. Uh, yeah, you can see here, this is kind of where around the banning and restrictions started. As you can see, there's this huge steep incline there. Next, we have Ace. I'm actually surprised Ace is still uh, went actually up just because of the, the bannings, but I guess because of the popularity. And I guess Red, or I guess Ace, is still semi-playable even with the Marco restrictions. I've seen other builds using uh, Pell in combo with Ace. Um, so yeah, so maybe that's going to be the go-to to red players. Next, let's go look at Rob Lucci. Rob Lucci was actually declining until the bannings. And you can see it shot all the way up. Rob Lucci was actually all the way down to 34. And then went a little bit up to 39. So I guess his value did not fluctuate a lot during the last month or so. However, it's pretty interesting to see the increase here just because of the bannings. All right, next we have Arlong. Same thing. You saw the huge incline here uh, just because of the restrictions and bannings. So Arlong actually started at 28 and it increased all the way up to 36. Next we have Big Mom Leader. Same thing. You can see you see the pattern here with a lot of OP03 cards. Yeah, Big Mom was actually all the way down to 20 and it went up at just over $31. So far, so as you can see, a lot of the pretty much all of the leaders saw an increase the last month or so, with a lot of them having this quite a steep increase the last week and a half or so because of the bannings. Uh, so yeah, so that'll be interesting to see moving forward. Next, let's go look at the character alt art, starting with the most expensive card in the set, the Manga Sogi K. As you can see, it went up, but it's still. I feel severely undervalued. Uh, uh, it started out the month at 226 and it ended up at 301. So nice, nearly $80 bump there, or I guess 60, $60 bump. If I can do math, $75 bump there. Next, we have Katakuri, which is the most expensive regular alt art out there. As you can see, it was actually declining until the bannings and then the price shot all the way up it started out at 83 and went all the way up to 97 It'd be interesting to see if the price keeps going up just because you know category will just get more popular with 4.5 and ml is gonna be a popular leader and category is gonna be part of that deck next we are putting same thing uh, you see the pattern here yellow or i guess a lot of op03 cards prices spike just after the bannings uh putting started out at 41 and now it's all the way up to 51 57 over just about 10 dollar increase next we have big mom big mom started at 24 and now it's up to 33 Polly, same thing as I said, a lot of people are moving to purple as well as an anticipation to purple Luffy. And yeah, it actually went down in price until the bannings. It was all the way down to $15.85 and then it bounced back to just over $22. Next, we have Prespero, same thing. It's pretty interesting how it went all the way down, then shot up really, really quickly the last week and a half or so. Um, it was all the way up to 24 now it's selling down it just under under $30 next we have Zeph Zeph started at 22 and now it's at 29 and yeah so that's all of the character alt arts next let's go 
look at the wanted poster and we have a new leader of wanted poster pricing i honestly thought luffy will just keep on going higher however with the bannings i'm not surprised it went down just because you know purple songs are up yellow songs are up and red stocks are down uh so yeah so kaido actually one month ago started out just on just over 52 dollars and now it's over 79 dollars an increase of what is this 52 over 27 dollars which is pretty nice next we have luffy who was our previous winner as you can see it was all the way up to 75 and then slowly slowly going down and has settled to just under or over 74 us dollars um so it looks like the price did not go all the way down uh, it's actually it looks a lot more dramatic than it looks uh, the variance is only a couple dollars um, however it's just because of the little dip you know caused kaido to go over it in terms of price so it, it, i still think that the luffy wanted poster will still gonna be the most expensive car in this ad because luffy's luffy next we have kid uh you can see kid slowly going up he started out 20 and all the way up to 36 nearly double the price and uh finally let's quickly look at the secret rare starting with the category uh secret rare similar to the category alt art it's chugging along in a pretty pretty nice I guess value then you can see the spike after the bannings and then settle down it started at just over 53 US dollars and it ended up at 60 US dollars with a peak of 75 wow if you sold at the peak you definitely could have made a very very nice profit there and then next we have Sogi King and you can see the last month Sogi King has actually decreased in price starting out at 16 and it went down all the way to just over 12 dollars so with op03 there's actually one that i want to highlight similar to op01 cards that i mentioned before one of the things i would like to highlight as a good value card to watch out is 3000 worlds i think i've mentioned this one before but it is selling just over three dollars per card so that's a pretty nice value look in your bulk binders look into your extra cards if you have extra because this might be a good time to sell it so guys that has been the overview of the secondary market with the older sets in op01 op02 and op03 as you can see the last month or so has been really 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 ridiculous with the op01 and op0 or i guess op01 um i guess non-reprints coming or i guess stopping of reprints as well as the new bannings and restrictions from bandai a lot of the non-red cards has definitely increased so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and as a reminder it my giveaway for this video is the dash pack the seal dash pack and all you have to do to be part of that giveaway is make sure to hit the like button subscribe and leave a comment down below i will draw and post the winner this saturday so make sure you stay subscribed to the channel so that you can see my post and as always guys, I hope everyone will have an amazing rest of the week and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.